this court grants defendants motion. This is the moment Anthony Broadwater was cleared of a crime he didn't commit more than four decades ago. He spent 16 years in prison and has only now been exonerated of the rape conviction that he says has ruined his life. The enormity and emotion of it all are overwhelming. I couldn't help but cry. The relief that a district attorney of that magnitude would, would, would side with me. My name is Salmon, like the fish. Okay, shipmate, take it away. The woman he was convicted of raping went on to become a best-selling author. Her book, The Lovely Bones, was made into this Oscar-nominated film. I was 14 years old. Alice Siebold was an 18-year-old college student when she was raped. She didn't pick Anthony Broadwater out of a police lineup, but did identify him as her attacker at his subsequent trial. Today, she apologised to him, saying, As a traumatised 18-year-old rape victim, I chose to put my faith in the American legal system. My goal in 1982 was justice, not to perpetuate injustice, and certainly not to forever and irreparably alter a young man's life by the very crime that had altered mine. Anthony Broadwater's wrongful conviction only came to light after a producer working on a film adaptation of Siebold's memoir raised questions about the case and hired a private investigator. When one reads the transcript, even somebody with, not, with no legal training will, re will see that this was just a travesty of a trial. Anthony Broadwater's lawyers were able to prove that he was convicted on the basis of insufficient and now discredited scientific evidence. Who does he blame for what happened to him? At the end of the day, his fight isn't necessarily with her. It's the people that provided her with ill guidance. The people that she thought were there to get her justice led her into committing a grave injustice against Tony. Um, so his issue and our issue is with the state of New York. We know now that there are two victims in this terrible story and one perpetrator whose identity may never be known. Chloe Keady, News at 10.